Because we're meeting a very, very big need for computers in the community. We have schools that are desperate for technology and don't have funding. California is in the bottom three states of all the states in the United States when you look at the number of computers per student in the school. Back in 1991, with the foresighted vision of a former teacher, real estate broker, and businesswoman, Pat Furr, recognized the critical need for computers in the classroom and did something about it. She returned to school and worked towards a master's degree in computer science and began her next venture, Computers for Classrooms. The organization's mission was to take old, discarded, and donated computers and have them cleaned and reconditioned so that they can be reused in hopes of combating the critical shortage of computers in the schools. With rather humble beginnings that began in Pat Furr's home and a dream of an idea to do some good for others, today Computers for Classrooms is housed in a 25,000 square foot facility located in Chico, California. Set up as a not-for-profit organization in 2002, Computers for Classrooms, along with its dedicated staff and trained volunteers, are equipped to receive all donated desk computers, monitors, and laptops, in addition to printers, faxes, office machines, and just about anything else that can be fixed, refurbished, and most importantly, reused. Their policy is that they take everything and nothing goes to the landfill. Donated equipment comes in from all over the state of California to the Chico location and are initially triaged to see whether they can be saved and refurbished for future use. Both volunteers and staff members begin the process of making a new life for the donated computers. After all the equipment has been evaluated, wiped clean, and separated as to what is salvageable and repairable, what simply is not is dismantled and parted out as much as possible. Nothing goes to waste. The first step is to remove the hard drives even before anything is ever powered up. Then the equipment is tested for the ability to power and boot up and proven to be in good working order. The motherboards are evaluated and checked out for any damage, age, and processing capabilities. All working and usable parts and components are separated into groups of what can be reused towards the refurbishing and the reconditioning of the computers for future use. Eventually, these computers are given a new lease on life, benefiting both the environment and education. For those that are simply not salvageable and cannot be reused, fixed, or repaired, then only as a last resort are they sent off for recycling to carefully selected, environmentally safe outlets. But even then, each piece of equipment is demanufactured down to its components. The aluminum is shipped out to be recycled and the circuit boards are crushed and the gold is then extracted and amalgamated to be reutilized. All of the wire is gathered together and sent out so it can be stripped for its valuable copper, thus reducing the need for increased mining of these scarce and valuable resources. With the strictest use of security, each and every donated computer has its hard drive wiped clean, meeting the U.S. Department of Defense level of security, and not even a single computer is plugged in until the hard drive has been removed to another location for wiping. Computers for Classrooms has been one of the earliest leaders in recognizing the vital need for data security, making people feel assured they can donate their computers and not have private info get out. The company's most important mission is to fill the tremendous need for computers in the classrooms throughout California. In today's economy, schools simply cannot afford to buy all of the necessary equipment, hardware, and software to meet the tremendous need for the substantial use of computer technology and internet learning in today's educational environment. Throughout this kind of program, the schools get high quality computers that run state-of-the-art software to help further our students' education as well as increase their technological skills, because this is the world we live in. Good teaching practices require that students have many different avenues to acquire what it is that they are studying, and the interactive uses of computers, 
updated software programs, as well as internet access, all provide powerful tools for effective education. And I see the, the power in technology. For good teaching, we need to make things visual. Technology makes learning visual. For good teaching, we need to have interactive education. Technology makes it interactive. Another vital component Pat Furr sees with her program is in not only providing computers for the classrooms themselves, but also making them available to families in need as well. She recognized the benefits of having a home computer are many, and that high school students are twice as likely to attend college if they have access to a home computer. She also realized the tremendous educational gap between white students who have a much greater exposure to computer technology and internet access, and minorities, in particular the Hispanic community. Computers for classrooms does not provide free computers for the schools. They do sell them at a fraction of the original cost as well as giving a second life to what was once regarded as unusable or merely recycled, or even worse, put into a landfill. Although this program is focused primarily for those in need within the state of California, computers and other technical equipment have been provided throughout the U.S. and to many organizations throughout the entire world. Computers for Classrooms is dedicated to filling a need for those without the resources of computer technology and internet access yet at the same time becoming good stewards for the environment. Since the beginning, millions of dollars worth of computer gear and equipment have been given new leases on life and saved immeasurable waste in materials that used to be reserved for recycling rather than reuse. And this program is geared to benefit both education and the environment. There is a tremendous need in this state and all over the United States for low-income families to have access to technology for schools to use technology, and it's much better for the environment if we reuse what we have rather than sending it for recycling or worse yet, to the landfill. So I really encourage people to think reuse first. EPA says reduce, reuse, recycle. And I really would hope there's a greater emphasis on reuse in the middle of that. This is a very, very rewarding program. I wouldn't do it otherwise. The Northern Rural Training and Employment Consortium and the Workforce Innovation and Regional Economic Development provide support for information technology, agribusiness, agritech, advanced manufacturing, health care, as well as the encouragement and development of renewal energy entrepreneurs. The mission of the Economic and Workforce Development Division at Shasta College is to provide quality services and programs that benefit the community, as well as employers and employees of the region, thereby contributing to a better quality of life, the local economy, and a more flexible and well-prepared workforce, including a green, sustainable workforce.